Hey YouTube family, Mike Jones here back with another video on my channel where we talk about all things investing in personal finance with the genuine hope that we'll be able to inspire someone to go ahead and get started with their financial freedom journey today. With that said, today we're going to look at my uh, Vanguard portfolio, but in the uh, effort to not give away all my personal information, I'm just going to show you this cost basis and everything that goes along with that um, because if you look at Vanguard um, and if you have a Vanguard account, you know that um, it shows a lot of the account numbers and stuff like that. So I really don't want to do that too much, but I still want to share this kind of stuff with you guys um, and you know let you know the new milestone that I hit um, in the last couple of days. So with that said, if you would take a sh brief and short moment to go ahead and smash that like button, hit the subscribe button. Uh, leave a comment if you would. That would also be really awesome. As we are uh, trying to get to 500 subscribers very quickly here, um, we're close to 300. So, um, and we only have about 10% of the people that watch my uh, videos uh, subscribe. So, if more people want to join in, if I can get to 50% subscribed and 50% non subscribed, we'd be up to about 2,000 something subscribers. So, that'd be really, really awesome. Um, but with that said, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for the continued support, and let's get into it. As you can see, we have VT Sachs and we have AT&T. These are the only two companies that are two uh, stocks or ETFs, uh, mutual funds that I'm invested in. And as you can see, I have 41.48 share, shares of VT Sachs right now at an average cost of $74.37. And that my total cost on that was three thousand eighty five dollars and fifty seven cents. Um, and then we've gained back forty one forty uh, one thousand or forty one hundred sixty eight dollars and seventy one cents. So we've gained a thousand sixty six dollars or a thousand eighty three dollars and fourteen cents so far um, just by having this. And we've had this for almost two years. Um, so and a thousand dollar return is fantastic for the time that we've had it um and that doesn't even include the dividends that we've received from uh the company but like i said without showing you um my account number and stuff like that i can tell you that i've received a decent amount of dividends from the vc Sachs uh, mutual fund i believe it's up to a hundred dollars in dividends so far and then we have at&t which as you know, we received this money because of the two 401ks that we had um, reaching a de minimis, which meant that they needed to be rolled over into an IRA. And with that rollover IRA, I just put it into my Roth IRA in Vanguard. And so what I did was I bought 158.8 shares or 156 shares of AT&T. And now we're up to 158.8 shares of AT&T. Um, gaining two and a half or two, almost three shares since the time that we've bought. And we've also gained another $273.05 in gains. So it looks like I bought AT&T at the perfect time. It was about $28, I believe, at the time that I bought the company um, for this account. And so I'm really happy with the progress of that. And I know for a fact that I've gained $100 in dividends from uh, AT&T in the little bit of time that I've had it. It's only been a couple months. So I'm truly happy with that. So that's um, $1,356.19 that I've gained in uh, market gains so far on top of uh, the $200 I've gained from dividends, which means that we've reached a new milestone of $1,500 gained in my Vanguard account. Um, I also reached $1,500 gained in my M1 finance account and I have a video coming out about that. So be sure to um, watch that as well. But um, I just wanted to share this with you guys. I thought this was a pretty big deal. We're almost to $9,000 overall in our Roth IRA and we still have $6,000 that we need to contribute to this account over the next year. So we need to contribute $3,000 by May 17th because that's the extended tax deadline. And then we need to uh, contribute another $3,000 for the year of 2021. Um, so we're super excited to see the progress of these accounts. Thank you so much for watching. 
Uh, let me know down in the comments if you think this is a good uh, IRA. Um, if you would make any uh, changes or alterations to it, please let me know that down in the comments as well. With that said, make sure you smash that like button, hit the subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you and God bless.